Hey y'all, welcome back. Part three, here we go, let's get started. This is gonna be our final stretch of finishing our mosaic together. I made a white pelican and today I'm gonna to finish my orange background. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to grout it and how to seal it and then how to put the backing on. Um, I'll give you kind of a, um, an idea of how much time in between you need to wait because you don't wanna do all of that at the same time. You need to let your grout set up, you need to let your primer finish, you need to do all that um, before you're before you put the backing on. So I'll show you guys, or tell you guys how to do all of that, but let's get started on the background. Now that we have gotten our background done, here is mine with my orange and my white pelican. I'm just gonna take my pattern off the back and now we are gonna get ready to grout it. Now I will just tell you this, some of my mosaics I don't grout. Um, and you'll see what I mean when I start on this one because usually if you have something that's white like this, it shows a good enough contrast. Um, so I like for the white to stand out against the orange, if that makes sense. So then I would just go ahead and put my sealer over it. But since it's our, this is our first one that we're doing together, I'm going to show you how I grout it. So I have, um, I was going to show you my bag of grout, but it's kind of falling apart. <laughs> so I will find a picture of it and I'm going to post it right here. I'll just um, show you what it is. I use a, it's called, um, Polyfill, I think is what it's called. It's a sanded grout. It's a bag about this big. You can get it at any hardware store pretty much. I think I got mine at Lowe's, um, but it's just a sanded grout. And I use a super fancy pink because of course pink's my favorite and it has glitter, plastic spoon, whatever. Um, and then for a four by six like this, you don't need much. I mean, maybe about two scoops like this of your grout. And then we're just gonna put a little bit of water in. I just kind of do this to, um, to make it just kind of like a thick pancake batter, I guess. I would turn my water on really lightly and I'm just gonna let it drip in there until and stir it up as it's going. And I'll show you the consistency that I want. I'm really kind of thick, but it's kind of loud. Um, but if you can see that, it's just kind of like a thick, yeah, pancake batter. All right, so then we're just going to take our grout and just plop it on. Okay. Now, this is where I was telling you, you're probably going to want, um, gloves but I use gloves for so many years and they just get in my way so just be prepared that if you're not going to use gloves you may get cut <laughs> but just take your time you don't want to go too fast because you want to make sure you get it in all of the cracks and crevices and you're just going to smooth it out I just smooth it out with my finger just like this Again, if you have one that you think looks just fine without the filling in like this, like the grout, don't grout it. It's your art. You do it however you want to. Like I said, I probably would not have grouted this one just because I'm, I like the way that it um, stood out, but I wanted to show you guys how to do it just in case you didn't make the same mosaic that I did and you wanted to grout it. So yes, you're gonna have more than what you need on here, but we'll scoop that up in just a minute. So you wanna make sure you get every little crease, crack, whatever. And you don't wanna press down too hard when you're doing this because especially when you're like right here along the wood, you don't wanna scratch up your frame. So just do it really lightly. Okay, then I'm gonna take my super, um, fancy 
brow tool, scoop up the excess and just dump it back in. back around make sure you have all your corners make sure you're not seeing any holes in these spaces okay all right now that we've got that filled we're gonna let this sit for maybe about 30 minutes and then we're gonna wipe off the excess. You don't wanna forget about this because if you do forget about this and you walk away for hours, it's gonna dry and all of this excess on here is gonna be a pain in the rear to come off. So you wanna give it about 30 minutes and then we're gonna come in and I'll show you with the paper towel and we're just gonna um, wipe that excess off. Okay, so now it's been sitting for about 30 minutes. We're just gonna get a paper towel because it's still pretty wet. You can see that, it hasn't dried all the way. So now we're just gonna do real lightly, just do it like this, and I've got this over a trash can. I'm just gonna wipe it off. And the part that's on the frame, just real gently wipe that off. Cause like I said before, you don't want it to scratch your frame. Cause the sand, sanded grout will scratch it, okay? If you don't get it all right now, that's fine. Once it dries completely, then we'll come back and clean it off. But this is just to get that excess off the top so it doesn't sit and get hard. Okay, and once we get all this off, we're gonna let this sit for at least a few hours because you wanna make sure that the grout has dried all the way before you put the seal on it. So if you wanna let it sit overnight, that's even better. But I would say let it sit for at least a few hours so you know that it is completely dry. Okay, all right, there we go. Okay, so now that we've let it sit and completely dry, I let mine dry overnight. Like I said, you don't have to, but you can. Um, at least just let it, you know, three or four hours to get the grout good and dry. So now I'm just gonna take, this is just a, um, it's an old rag that I use. I think it's actually an old bird cloth maybe, I don't know. Just anything that you don't care getting messed up, something soft cloth, you know, if you have just an old wash rag or something like that, we're gonna take it and just real soft, clean off the rest of that loose grout. Kind of get up in your corners like this. And all of that excess grout. You see that glass shining again. Okay. And I know my frame is a little messy, but that's okay. Clean him up when we get done. Okay. So I think he looks pretty good, huh? and shiny. All right. So now we're going to put the sealer on. Okay. This is the sealer that I use. It's just a polycrylic paint, clear gloss. I guess you wouldn't call that a paint, but just a um, top coat, clear crystal top coat and I like clear gloss because it makes it shiny. You don't really want to use a semi-gloss because you know it'll kind of give it that flatter look, I guess. Uh, but this will seal the glass in and the grout and all of that. So let's get to sealing. Okay, I'm just gonna get a good bit on there on my brush. And you don't want to leave a really thick coat on here because then it'll just, um, it'll dry too thick and then it'll crackle and you'll have lots of little pieces. So you want to get a good coverage all over, but just 
have it kind of thinned out too, so. And if you get a little bit on your frame, that's okay. We're gonna go back around and wipe it off. You just wanna get all the way to the edge so that your grout won't flake as well. Make sure you get all the way in the corners. Okay, so let's just go back and take off any of that excess. Just kind of wipe my brush off. All right, and once we get this finished, just like the grout, we need to let it sit. This dries a whole lot quicker than the grout does, but you still wanna give it a couple hours just to make sure it's good and dry. Before we get it cleaned up. I'm just gonna go back and wipe the edges. Okay, so my sealer has dried. So I'm gonna take my mosaic and around just this parts, like around the bottom where the um, grout got on the frame, I'm just gonna, I got a wet paper towel and I'm gonna just clean it off. He turned out super cute. I love it. Okay, so now we're gonna put the backing on, okay? So what I use is, for, for ones like this where I'm gonna put the wire on the back, I'll use, let's see, these wood screws, um, Phillips head, six by half inch. I'll just show you, this is what I use. Steel wood screws, these are about little bitty. Okay, so then we're just gonna screw those into the back. I'll show you that. And then I use picture hanging wire, and I think this is about 20 or 30 pound gauge. Um, you can get this at your hardware store, Walmart, wherever. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna attach all of this. Okay, you're probably gonna wanna measure it. I just kinda eyeball it. Um, I'm gonna put my screw right up here, just a little bit below frame. Do that in. And I'm going to take my other one, do the same thing. About the same height down. Okay. Then I'll get my wire. Find the end of my wire. And then I'm just gonna do a piece about this long. Super technical with my measurements, right? Okay. And then I'm just gonna wrap that around, bring him underneath, and then just twist. Now this wire can be kind of sharp on the edges so that's why I can never get a manicure because I always mess up my nails what I also will do is I have a little piece of sandpaper when there's no more sand on it um, but I'll do this so that way I can just twist him around okay I'll do 
the same thing on the other side. Twist underneath like that. And then just twist him around. I don't want to leave any of that poking out. So get that again. And then I'm gonna finish screwing these two. And there he is, just like that. So your backing is now ready. Okay, you did it. You made your first mosaic. I'm so excited. I'm so proud of you. I hope some of you guys, or I hope all of you guys, will go on to. I don't know how to respond to videos on YouTube, but maybe you can. And if not, then go to uh, my Facebook page or my Instagram page. Just send me pictures of what you made. I cannot wait to see them all. If you did a pelican like this one or something else, I cannot wait to see it. So proud of you. This was so much fun. Let's do another one.